This is a good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife Hi, my name is Timmy and um, this is Bob in my bus. We call her Green Sleeves because she's green on the outside, but she's blue on the inside, so nobody understands that. <laughs> so one of the features that we like, um, especially about the bus, is this panel here. This floor fo folds down when we're riding. My seat turns around. Uh, it turns around when this is enough. But it turns around and then I've got my little footstool down there. And when we're riding, I can just sit with my feet up and enjoy the ride. And then this seat swivels back. And this folds up and down. We have a little extra counter space here to put our burkey on and anything else that we need. Or we can, I can actually turn the seat around and sit and use it like a little desk. And what's nice is we have the, the three burner propane stove and sink. We've got our propane, it's automatic on like that. And then it's got an oven too. The oven isn't huge, this is the, only the oven part. And oh, okay. you can put something down here if you want to broil. But I mean, it's limited space, but. You can just still cook a sheet yeah. of cookies. Yeah, you can still get some stuff done. <laughs> this is the Max Air Deluxe, I think they call it, which has 10 speeds. It's exhaust and, you know, you can pull in with it and it has a remote and a rain guard. So if it Fancy. starts to rain, it'll close up. Fancy. Yeah, and we then, made the, that mistake of a, leaving ours open and it doesn't have the automatic so oh, yeah. we got rain in the bus well yeah. thank goodness we put the fan in right here by the stove because every time we cook the smoke alarm goes off yeah every time yeah <laughs> so with this we have the exhaust pulling it out and i opened a window so it just and that helps a lot and we have our little dinette set here with lots of storage because we got storage under here and storage here back here storage under this one so I have those made for me. They cost between these and all the ones in the back. It was probably about eight, nine hundred dollars. Wow. To have the cushions made. Wow. Just because they were so custom. Yeah, they were all yeah. custom. And then of course we had to have the extra ones made um, for when a bed is made. Mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the extra cushions go in the middle. I made the curtains. Um, I just I bought the fabric online, and then this is interesting. Um, I lined them. I went to Goodwill and I got a bunch. They had like king size white sheets. Mm -hmm. So I bought like four of them. Then they were huge. And I cut them up and I made lining for the, for the um, curtains. And it cost me like, I don't know, a dollar a sheet. So. That's awesome. They <laughs> so look I great. I did that. Thank you. I did that. You know, really, it was really inexpensive. And then this is my little pantry. And the only thing I would change if I had to do it again was to put in shelves that actually pull out so right now in order to reach stuff that's in like in the back mm -hmm. of it i put things in baskets so i can pull one basket out and reach the stuff that's in the back not that big a deal right now i can manage with it and then we have lots of stories and then we have our um cool size ref refrigerator with storage over the top and this holds a lot and it's a full freezer and full refrigerator. This is an RV refrigerator so that it locks. So nice. it doesn't, like when you're traveling, it doesn't, you know, fly open. And then we've got our full bath. Excuse the, all the pillows in the back of the, in the shower right now. Those usually are on the couch in the back here. So normally when we're, when I'm not being lazy <laughs> and this slide, this slides back and it makes a U-shaped couch. 
makes a U-shaped couch and then I use all those pillows that you saw in the shower all around the perimeter and we can sit and, and watch television or read or, or or you know just sit and chat and so it gives us extra room right. and then this nice. is my little my closet got my little for my hanging clothes here and uh, drawers for our clothes and towels and linens at the bottom in a nutshell. Well, you have a very beautiful bus. Thank you, honey. I appreciate that. Oh, I love and it. This, this is a little joke between Bob and I. <laughs> oh, I definitely took a shot of that. <laughs> <laughs> because oh, he loves pie, and um, he says nobody can make a blueberry pie like me or his mother. He says I make as, as good a blueberry pie as his mother ever made. Don't tell his mother. <laughs> but um, so I found this sign and it said eat cake for breakfast and so I just crossed it out and put pie. <laughs> I love it. It's great. Because he eats pie for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He'll eat pie anytime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, and this um this thing. Oh yeah, when when we're, at night when we're ready to close up shop, I just drop this panel. I made I made the panel with all the um extra material that I had from the curtains and from a lot of the pillows that I covered. So I figured I had all this scrap curtain, all the scrap material, so I'll make this a little different than, than the rest of the bus and give it a little, give it a little um, different. And I did one over here too. Because this one I couldn't have a, I couldn't have a curtain, but I couldn't get a, a curtain that opened this way because it would know, be in the driver's way. So. Right. So then I just the other said, side is blue. The other side is plain. So at night we just, uh, I mean, you know, in the morning we just uh, roll it up. I put a rod in the middle of it too to give it some weight. Yeah. Just a wooden dowel in the, in the bottom of it. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely still in this idea for sure for ours. Yeah, well, it's a great one. Great. It's a great one. It works. It works. Perfectly, and then I just have made a little panel with the snaps. This part goes right into the wood, and then the snaps up. Yeah, beautiful. The build is is beautiful. Y'all are loving it. I wish I could take it. I wish I could take um, credit for it, doing yeah. it ourselves. But we had a um, we met a fellow that was in down in Melbourne, Florida, and I found a tiny house builder. Mm -hmm. in uh, Melbourne, Florida. So we talked to him and he said, well, he had never done a schoolie before, but he had done tiny homes and he was really anxious to, to do one, to do a schoolie. So he took it on, he gave us a pretty good price, I think, and, you know. Yeah. And um, it did take, it took seven months, but a lot of the problem was because during COVID, the, you know, they weren't shipping stuff from China. Yeah, yeah. So all of our appliances got held up. This is not a full-time home for us. Yeah. It's just for travels, but we're talking about taking off and um, going out west and going like for this five or six awesome. months. Yeah. You know? And then we'll come back to Florida when it's not so hot anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we added work? this after the fact and, and had it painted the same color as the bus. But this is just storage for our um, for our like our water. And our, our gray water tank and gasoline and stuff to keep the storage in there. This panel down here, this is for our, this is for all of our electrical. Oh, we we've got that um, just the house battery. We don't have solar yet, but we're we've been talking to Jonathan about um, adding a couple of so, solar panels on the roof. And then this compartment we had um, modified so that it would fit two propane tanks. Oh, y'all got plenty of propane. So we got two propane Four tanks. Down. That's 40, awesome. 40 pounds of propane. We just keep rags in here. And um, we have it switch we have it switched so it automatically when we one tank runs out it, it automatically switches over to the second. Nice. We have 52 gallons of fresh water and 52 gallons gray water. We got them just mounted underneath. Fresh on one side, gray on the other. And this is kind of we're hooked up to um, water. You know, from a, on a campground or something, or even, you know, at, at a home, we would put the uh, hose in here and then we can use this to have water outside. Mm. So we just use the Predator 3500 generator for now. And what's nice is that we got it so that we can, uh, we can plug the generator in back here and still have, and have the air condition, have it running while we're on the road. 
so we can use the air conditioning and the bus while we're moving. So that was. So we had the deck built, and uh, the yeah, deck is all, it's all welded right into the frame, so it's I mean, super solid. And the reason that we left the bumper here and didn't move the bumper back mm -hmm. is because some of the um, national parks have a, um, have a uh, length restriction. Mm -hmm. So by leaving the bumper there, it's still a 27-foot bus. It's yeah. not 31 foot now. Exactly. So. <laughs> yeah. Bob, Bob's um, nephew made this. this. What this is is, is um, it's a hammock. Oh, really? Thing. It's a hammock um, holder. Yeah. What do so do? if you don't have nothing else to hold right. on to, right? You put, yeah. Like this, you put stakes in mm -hmm. in the hoops and stake it down, and then you take your hammock, you put your hammock in from here to the handle on the bus. Oh, smart. So yeah. Put it there to there, and then you've got your own hammock. You don't need any trees. <laughs> Oh, the other thing that's really kind of cool about having a, having a handicap door is that we can, uh, the slide's open. Oh, we, <laughs> we can fasten it open. Okay. We can access storage under here. A lot of the stuff that's out now is on the back that it gets tucked in when, we're, when we leave. And then um, we can lay in bed and Look out. Look out the yeah. I, I made this little screen for it and I've got magnets to, to hold it on. And I just it just I just pack it all around. Oh all how around nifty. With magnets. Right. And uh, that way we can we can keep the door open at night and we won't get bugs in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Comment below your favorite part of the tour, what you enjoyed the most, what you thought was not smart in the build. So maybe we can avoid those mistakes as well. For our past subscribers, I would like to apologize for our six months of absence. We lost all of our data and had to pay quite a bit of money to retrieve it. This is not a job for us. This is just a hobby. So to pay a grand for a hobby is a little hard for us. So we hope you enjoy the videos that we have to come. See you next time. Thank you.